Hello, my name is Dan Klingman. I'm in the, with Lincoln Electric in the Technical Training Department. Today we're at the NASCAR Technical Institute. We're going to be talking about uh, different types of uh, power sources for TIG welding. Then we're going to talk about first is an inverter style machine. Inverters have a lot of advantages over a standard transformer rectifier. Number one, you can see that the machine is very small, it's portable. The advantage of an inverter is that it operates at a very high frequency, anywhere from 20,000 to 40,000 hertz, as compared to a transformer rectifier that's taking the 60 hertz out of the wall and you get 60 hertz out. With the inverter operating at a higher frequency, anything operating at a higher frequency is more efficient. So the more efficient that that is, the least amount of heat that's being built up on the components inside the machine and that's how we get such a small portable uh, package. One of the other advantages of the, of the Invertec V205 is that it will operate on both 115 volt or 230 volt input power. And typically they draw about half of the amperage on input current than a standard transformer rectifier. So they're a lot more efficient, uh, portability and flexibility on input power uh, are all uh, major advantages, especially for the homeowner that can't afford uh, large uh, input power into their house or high voltages, it uh, makes it pretty flexible. So now I want to go over some of the uh, features of the uh, Invertec V205 AC-DC. We first start over here in the upper left hand corner and we select the process that we're going to be welding with. Uh, I currently have it on uh, AC TIG welding, typically aluminum and magnesium are welded on AC current or alternating current. Next is I've got our parameter button here and I can toggle through our max setting which of the output right now which is 110 amps. That means if I push the pedal that I'm using all the way down I'll get a maximum of 110 amps. The machine has a minimum of 6 amps. So if we toggle through we can go to our, our finished current is 6 amps. Our post flow is 15 seconds. The post flow not only allows our uh, protection of our molten puddle as it cools, but it also cools the tungsten, protecting it from the atmosphere, and, uh, mainly the oxygen and nitrogen. The next thing is the starting current. Uh, starting current I have at 10, I can turn that down to 6, which is the minimum, and then we go back to our uh, peak current that we have the machine set at. The next feature is part of aluminum welding is we can go in and we can set our uh, frequency. Being an inverter, this allows us to uh, change the output frequency of the machine. It'll go from anywhere from 20 hertz to 150 hertz. Okay, a standard transformer rectifier operates at 60. As we take the frequency up, our arc cone will tend to narrow down and really focus and create a small welding puddle. As we go down, the arc cone will get wider as we go down toward the, the 20 hertz. So this allows us to turn the output frequency up, get a narrow puddle, and it also, with these inverters, they're designed to run on a 2% thoriated tungsten or a seriated tungsten, whichever one you'd rather use, and sharpen to a point. Uh, when I say a point, not a needle point, but we'll put, a, we'll put it to a point, and then we'll put a slight uh, blunt end on the end, and then that way it will carry current and the combination between the higher frequency and that pointed tungsten, it allows us to weld aluminum, thin aluminum, uh, much easier than a standard transformer rectifier.